Good morning. Hi, this is Rachel Plain. Um, I'm here at Berkshire Yoga Dance and Fitness, and we are about to dive into our Gentle Flow Yoga class. This is a class that we typically teach at the studio every Monday morning from 9 to 10, and we've been live streaming it for the past couple months. So um, it's going to be a beginner-friendly, gentle, relaxing flow to help start your week. So we'll get started in a moment with a nice brief meditation and centering. We'll get going into some warm-up poses. We'll do a nice standing flow and then have plenty of time to relax at the end. Good morning, Matt. Good to see you. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, so great. Everyone's logging in and we'll get started in just a moment. Good morning, Robbie. Good to see you too. Happy Monday. Hope that you guys are doing well and that you had a nice weekend. Um, great. Cool. So um, today we're going to start on the mat with a little bit of a heart opener. So if you have any um, props nearby, you can use those. You don't necessarily need them, but if you have two blocks or if you have a bolster or if you just have like a pillow or a blanket, um, that could be helpful. You don't necessarily need anything. You could be starting without that, but if you have any props, feel free to gather those up and we'll use those um, for our heart opener, for our centering in the beginning. Happy June. Yeah, it's summer, I guess, right? It feels like a little chilly this morning, but here we are in June. I can't believe it. Um, I'm so glad to have some good sunny weather. It feels like a much needed break for everybody. So good morning, Helen and Joanne. Good to see you both. Great. And I just want to take a moment too to thank you guys for all your support. I really appreciate you guys visiting supportbydf.com and all the donations and contributions you've been making. Um, it's been incredibly helpful for us to produce these videos and keep the studio open. So thank you again for your support and your encouragement and your feedback. Thank you for filling out those surveys. I did just send out a studio-wide survey. I know you guys, a lot of you participated in the um, initial survey about my specific classes. I did send out a studio-wide survey via email over the weekend that was posted to our Facebook account. So if you have a moment, it does have some different questions. If you want to give us any feedback, we'd love to hear um, your thoughts on the summer and eventual reopening plans. So great. Okay. Good morning, Austin. It's a brand new day. It's going to be a great day. So let's get right to it. All right. Good morning, Patty. Okay, so we'll start. So again, if you have any props, any bolsters, blankets, blocks, you can use those to get started. Um, and we're gonna start with a heart opener for our centering and meditation. So come onto your mat and I'll check in with you guys at the end. Great. So I'm going to start on my back today, uh, so again, if you have anything, and actually before I start, let me just adjust this down a tiny bit so I can see. Okay. All right, so if you have any um, blocks or a bolster, you can use that for your centering. I'm going to use blocks. I'm going to come into a supported fish, so I'm going to take this block. If you've ever made this, you've done this before, right between your shoulder blades to lay down on, so it's going to be long. The other block I'm going to take underneath my head, almost like a pillow. If you don't, and I'm going to put it on the high end, so I'll have this on the medium and this on the high. You could also do this with a bolster. You could lay on a bolster. You could lay on a rolled blanket. You could lay on some pillows. So it's just something to help open the chest. So if you're, and if you don't have anything, just come lay on your back. That's perfect too. So I'm going to come on down and take this block, tuck it right underneath the um, lower part of the ribs, like the middle part of my back. So when I lay down, it's nuzzling between the shoulder blades, and then the other block I'm going to use to support my head. So it can be high, it can be medium, it can be low. And if you don't have the blocks, just go ahead and use a bolster, a blanket, or uh, pillows. If you don't have that, just come lie on your back. Once you come into your centering, the feet can be on the ground, or you can widen your feet. You can let your inner thighs touch and knees touch, or you can let the knees open and bring the soles of the feet together. Soles of the feet together, knees wide. Legs could also come long on the mat or any other variation. So take some time to get yourself set up in our fine position, either with or without props. And if you're just tuning in, you're here for gentle flow yoga at Berkshire Yoga and Fitness. My name is Rachel, and we're going to do our hour long class from now until 10. So close your eyes, take a deep inhale through the nose. 
Exhale, sigh. Good. Do that again. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, sigh. And one more time, a deep breath in. And let go. Okay, you're going to breathe in through the nose, pause at the top. Through your nose, exhale and slowly release the breath all the way out to the bottom, to your empty of breath. Hover there at the bottom, suspend the breath out. And then gradually breathe back in, breathe into the lowest part of the belly, the middle section of the ribs, the upper portion of the heart. And exhale, release the chest, relax the ribs, relax the belly, so you're empty at the bottom. And take that again, deep breath in. And full breath out. Take some time here to land in your body. To notice how your breath feels in the body. To send awareness and attention around the heart space. Creating this wide, open, loving heart. Letting your heart be open to give love, to receive love, to take in whatever you're seeking from this morning's practice, from this brand new day, this brand new week, this brand new month, this new season. Greeting this day, this brand new day, with an open mind and an open heart. Perhaps setting an intention for your practice or your day. And breathing that into your body. And full exhale to release. Good job. And then when you're ready, if the knees are wide apart and feet are touching, just go ahead and slide the knees back together, widen your feet at the inner thighs touch, and just pause there for a moment. If the legs are long, you can hold that for a second too, and just take another breath or so to reacclimate. And then we're going to come onto one side, so you can go ahead and gently roll off the blocks if you were using blocks or roll off your bolster or your pillows or your blanket if you were using that, or just come onto the ground if you were on the ground. So just come into a nice, easy fetal pose for just a moment, holding there. And then from where you are, press your body up. Come all the way up to seated. You can let the legs be crossed or any other variation of seated. Take a deep inhale, sweep the arms all the way up and up, let the palms touch. And as you exhale, slide your hands through prayer, close your eyes, come back to that intention you might have created, take a deep breath in, and full breath out. On your next inhale, slide the hands to the ceiling, lengthen the arms. And as you exhale, open the arms right behind you, drop your chin, interlace your fingers. And then open your heart again, press the fist down, squeeze the backs of the shoulders together, let the heels of the hands come to touch, look up. And exhale, release the gaze, release the hands, and take a shoulder roll. Take another big sun breath to the top, and then as you exhale, open the arms, cut your knees, and round your back. So tuck the tail under, scoop the belly, chin to chest. And inhale, belly presses forward, heart leads forward, face and throat open up. Exhale, round your back, tuck your toes, scoop the belly, chin towards the chest. And one more time, inhale, open it up. And exhale, release back. Bring this right into a shoulder roll, inhale the shoulders up, back and down. 
and exhale, release the shoulders. Taking a nice side stretch here, sweep the arms wide and high, interlace the fingers, release the pointer, stretch up and over to the right, taking that side stretch into the waist. Come up through center. Exhale, up and over to the left, maybe look up towards the ceiling. Come back through center. Release the hands behind you, drop your chin, interlace your fingers, and then press the fist down so you can squeeze the shoulders together, open the chest one more time. And exhale, release the gaze, release the hands. Let's switch the cross of your legs, so just tip back and put the other leg in front. We'll take that out of rotation here. So coming into our spinal twist, lift the arms up again. As you exhale, twist to one side, bringing the opposite hand over the lap, lengthen the spine, and look to the side or over the back shoulder. See a few breaths there. Good. As you inhale, lift the arms up. And as you exhale, twist the other way, keeping a long spine from the base of the tail to the top of the head. Steady gaze, go forward, just see point, looking at the side or over the back shoulder. Inhale, lift the arms up. And as you exhale, release the hands behind you, unwind your legs, come to sit on your bottom, take the feet nice and wide, and windshield wiper left to right. So if you have any props in the way, like blocks, or a bolster, feel free to just move it out of the way. I'm going to take this block right out of my way, this behind me, but if you have anything that's blocking the legs, just move that away. Bring the knees over to one side. You're going to pause, turn the head away from the knees, close the eyes, or have your steady gaze. Take a couple breaths. Good. Inhale the knees through center, bring them the other way, turn the head away, close the eyes, or steady gaze, a couple breaths. Good. Knees come through center, bring the feet hip width, so toes forward, heels back. You can turn your hands to face your hips, and then from there, hands facing hips, toes forward, heels back. Lift the heart open, elevating the chest, lifting the face slightly, stretching the ribs, coming into a modified reverse table, or pressing right into the hands, lift the hips a little bit, or all the way up to thigh height, chin to chest, or head falls back. Couple breaths. Take another deep inhale. As you exhale, release the hips back down. You're going to make your way. Actually, let's open the knees first. Bring the soles of the feet to touch, and then hold on to your ankles. I'm going to lift the heart up. So you're in bound ankle, body masana, and then take a forward fold. Dive over the legs. You can keep a flat back for as long as you like, or bring your hands to your feet. Press the forearms to the calves, lengthen the spine, or drop the head, and take a few breaths there. In bound angle, body masana, breathing into the hips. Just going as deep or as shallow as feels comfortable. And pausing there. Good. Lengthen the spine, press the head forward, the hips back, and slide the hands down the shins to catch the knees, bring the knees towards each other. Swing the legs around to the back of the mat so you come into tabletop all fours. And we'll take our hip circles that we've done many times before. So hands in front of shoulders and start to swing the hips. Just moving them in one direction, nice big circles. And then swinging the hips in the other direction. And then when the hips come towards the heels, take your rising child, touch the big toes, separate the knees, sink the hips back, dip the forehead, extend the arms. You could be still or find a gentle sway left to right across the forehead, across the hips. Good. And then begin to settle into stillness, breathing into the low back. The middle back, the upper back. Exhale, releasing the upper back, the middle back, and the lower back. Good. From
from extended child's roll through the calf, bring the knees right underneath the hips, come all the way onto the belly today, and then make that flow through the head right away, stack the palms or the fists, drop the head, then the knees, pose up, and neutral way for the leg. And then start to stir the shins around one way. And start to stir your shins the other way. Let the legs come long. Bring the hands back underneath the shoulders to press up to a baby cobra and then right into a sphinx pose. So bring the um, elbows forward so they're underneath the shoulders. And then lift the heart. And then for today, just perk up your wrists. So come kind of up onto the fingertips. And then root down into the fingers, lift the heart a little further. Notice if that feels any different. Pause, take a deep breath. And as you exhale, just flatten out the hands. So keep that elevation in the heart. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, turn your head to the right, over the right shoulder, maybe close the eyes. Pause there, deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, they head through center. Exhale the other way. Pause. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Come back through center. Breathe in. Exhale to melt back on the belly. We're going to take it back to cobra this time. So bring hands underneath shoulders. Press with the hands. Lift either baby cobra, medium cobra, or your full expression of cobra to lift and open the heart. And then undulate back to your belly. Press in the hands. We get back to child's for a moment. This time, perhaps, you'll keep the knees hip width and let the belly and the chest land on the thighs. You could also bring the arms alongside the body with the backs and hands. Touch the ground, palms open, and take a few breaths there. Good. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, press into your hands, roll up to sit on your heels, or come to a high heel right away if that's uncomfortable, and then stand on the shins. Inhale, lift the arms up. As you exhale, open the arms, touch your back, drop your chin, fingers down, elbows back, and lift your heart up, elevate the chest, look up. Exhale, release, tabletop, all fours. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, round your back, draw the navel up and in, drop the tailbone and drop the head. Inhale, let the belly drop, lift the tailbone, lift the heart, look forward towards the front of the room. Exhale, round your back, navel up and in, tail and head drop. Inhale, belly drops, tail lifts, heart shines forward, look up. And one more time, exhale, curl, round your back. Inhale, back to your cow. And then lengthen up from tail to head. Just pause here. Take a deep breath in. Lift the shins. And exhale, ascend the shins to the right. Set them down and look under or over the right shoulder to look towards the toes. You get that big C curve in the spine. And you can just hold there for a moment. Looking towards the toes or the feet or closing the eyes. Good. And then in breath, lift the shins. Exhale, send them to the other side. Set them down, look over that shoulder, and pause. Good. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, set them down. We're going to take rotation here, too. So from where you are, take the right arm out to the side above the head. Lift up, look up to your hands. And exhale, thread that arm halfway through. Bend the opposite elbow. Dip the shoulder, look towards that side. Inhale, lift all the way up. And exhale, thread just halfway through. Dip the shoulder, look to the side. Okay, one more time, inhale up. And exhale, thread through. Bring the shoulder down or the head down. Hold here or stretch the opposite arm forward like a puppy pose, peeking underneath the arm. Or sweep that arm all the way up towards the ceiling. And then fold it behind the back, back of hand to hip or hip brace. 
You can pause there for a few breaths. Good. Inhale, lift the top arm. Exhale, release that hand towards the ground. And then unwind, press into your hand. Sweep the opposite arm all the way to the ceiling. Release that top arm. And switch sides. Inhale, left arm out and up. Exhale, front halfway through. Bend the elbow, dip the shoulder, turn the gaze. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, halfway through. And last time, lift up. Exhale all the way through. Bring the shoulder down, bring the head down, hips straight above the knees, pause here, or send the opposite arm forward, like puppy, or lift it up to the ceiling, and maybe take a half bind. Hold the arm behind your back, back of hand to hip or hip crease. Few breaths here. Arm is behind the back, lift it up. Exhale, place it down, and then unwind. Sweep the left arm out and up all the way above the head, look up. Exhale, release the hand. Coming up to either puppy pose or down dog, you'll curl your toes under. Either walk the arms out if you want to stay real gentle and drop the forehead, that's puppy pose. Or if you're ready for a little more stretch in the back of the legs, a little more strength building, bring the hands over the shoulders, curl the toes under, elevate the knees, and take the hips up to the top. And if you're in your dog, and like we usually do, just take some time to maybe pedal out, to breathe, to shake your head, to work out any cracks in the ankles or tension in the legs, just pedaling out. And then start to be still in your dog. Bend the knees generously, pick the hips up higher, stretch them away from the wrists. Let the head fall through the arms, sort of bend the knee down the dog. Couple breaths there. Really strong through the hands, fingers spread wide, hands sliding forward, hips reaching back away from the wrists. Good job. And then start to step up. So if you're a down dog, just come to stand. If you're in, or if you're in puppy, rather, come to stand. If you're a down dog, walk feet to hands, or hands to feet. Feet hip with, shake it, yes. Shake it, no. Let the head hang and take a hold of the opposite elbow for ragdoll and find a sway left to right. Shifting from one foot to the other, wagging the body from left to right. And then holding there and rag down, take a couple breaths. Good, let the hands come off the elbows, bend the knees generously and slowly roll your body up. Let your head be the very last thing to lift, let the arms dangle off the shoulders. And when you get to the top, big sun breath, inhale the arms out and up. Exhale to slide the hands through prayer, close your eyes. Take a moment to just land in your body in this upright position, palms at prayer, feet hip width distance, rooting down through the feet. With closed eyes and palms in prayer, feet hip width distance, just experiment with the weight of your body. So feel a subtle shift forward and back and side to side. Feeling all four corners of the feet, the big toe ball mound, the pinky toe ball mound, the inner and outer edge of the heel. And then find that place where you're most aligned, where the feet are relaxed into the earth, the joints and bones are stacked in the most effortless way. And then invite energy up through the soles of the feet into the ankles and the legs, up towards the knees and the hips, reaching the ribs up off the hip points so the waist is long, the belly, the back is long. 
Your heart is open and radiating towards the palms, the hands. Crown of the head lifted, spine long. Take another deep inhale. As you exhale, release your arms. Take a sun breath to the top, interlace your fingers, release your pointer, and then stretch up and over to the right to standing half moon. Bump your hips away, lift the head up to the ceiling. Inhale through center, and then stretch up and over the other way. Inhale through center. Exhale, release your hands behind, drop your chin, interlace your fingers, open your heart again by sliding the fists down and squeezing the shoulders together and lifting the chest. Come into skier pose, bend the knees, bend the hips, long diagonal line from hips to head. So from the side, it looks like this. Toes forward, heels back, diagonal line from heel to toe, from hips to head. Take a deep inhale. As you exhale, either stay or come to standing yoga mudra. You could uh, pour the body over the legs, drop the head, and you move the arms away from your back. Take a few breaths. Good. Bend the knees, bend the hips, stretch the arms back, reach the heart up again, back to your pose, lengthen your spine, strong in your legs, open in your heart, take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, release the hands. Tadasana, breathe in, stand up. Exhale, bend the knees, dive forward with a flat back. Just to kind of flush that out. And then inhale, hands to shins, long spine, heart of Tadasana, stretch out. And exhale, melt over the legs, bend the knees. Inhale, reverse your swan dive, all the way to stand, palms touch. Exhale, hands to prayer, eyes closed. Come back to any intention that you set. How do you want to feel today? What do you want to invite into your practice or your day? Take a deep breath in. And exhale, release your arms. One last sun breath to stay standing, lift the arms. And exhale, open the arms, take a hold of the hips, and stand at the top of the mat. Step on the left foot, send the right leg back to a high lunge. But instead of staying in the high lunge, we're going to make our way to warrior one. So just spin that heel down slightly. Without letting the hips and body open, you're going to square the hips, right? So press out through your back heel, press the hips square towards the front of the room. Keep the front knee bent above the front ankle. Get the shoulders up above the hips. And then inhale, lift the arms to frame the head, just like you did in Tadasana. So you're in warrior one of your Tadasana one. So it could be a shallow stance, or it could be a deeper stance. So you're going to choose how vigorous you want this or how gentle you want this. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, open the arms behind you, interlace your fingers. We did this last week in some of our other classes. You're coming into ostrich pose. First, open up the heart, lift the chest, and then come to the inner thighs. So hinge at the hips. And come either halfway or come right inside that leg. Drop the head. You can reach the arms away from the back. You can look at the ground or maybe even look at your back foot and breathe. Good job. On an in breath, let the arm bones pull you up. Keep that bend in the front knee today. Release the hands, sweep the arms up to frame the head. So maybe the legs are kind of feeling this. Either Trembling a little bit from that strength building, but stay with it. You can do it. Straighten the front leg. Open the arms to T and set up for warrior two. So just wiggle your feet. Get the front heel lined up with the arch of the back foot. Get the back foot to face the long edge of the mat. And then bend the front knee again. Warrior two. You're a Vidrasana two. On an inhale, reverse your triangle. Straighten legs. Lift the top arm, look up. And exhale, warrior two. Here we draw center two. Inhale, rise up, reverse triangle, do that twice more. And exhale, warrior two. Last time, inhale up. And exhale, warrior two. Hold your warrior two, take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, reverse warrior. So it's just like reverse triangle, but the knee stays bent, you're gonna lift the top arm. And like we practiced last week, go ahead and turn your face down. So look at your back foot. Bend the front knee and pause if you can. Take a deep breath. And then open the arms straight and the legs for a little break. Let's turn the toes in and the heels 
out, toes forward, heels out, and then bring your heels in and your toes out. So a couple little wiggles to get your heels in and your toes out. And then point your arms up to where the wall would meet the ceiling, so you're a five-pointed star. Bend the knees, bend the hips, and sink into goddess. Toes are turned out, elbows are up in line with your shoulders, and take a little rock. Good. It's getting into the hips. And then pause, sink down a little deeper. Good job. Let's come in and out of this. So inhale, five pointed star, stretch long. Exhale, sit into goddess. Take that twice more. Inhale, stretch long. Exhale, sit into goddess. Really opening those hips, strengthening the legs. One more time. Inhale up. And exhale, sit. Hold the bottom, deep breath in. And exhale, tip forward, grab a hold of the legs, and just take a little rock again. So back and forth in the hips. And then holding here, we're going to take a twist. So drop the left shoulder, dip towards the right, keep the knees open. Inhale through center. Exhale, dip the other shoulder and hold. Inhale through center. Exhale, toes forward, heels back, bend the knees and slowly roll your body up. At the top, take sun breath, inhale, lift. Exhale, arms open, widen your stance again, bring your wrist right back over the um, ankles and widen your feet. Turn the front foot, the left foot forward, bend the left knee, that same side that you did before, back to warrior two, deep breath in. Exhale, cartwheel down one hand, the other hand, put it on the ball, the back foot, and set the back knee down. From here, you can be on the ground with blocks. And then take your front foot and just wiggle it more out to the side. So wiggle it more out to the left, out so it's wider, further away from the back foot. That hand is outside the leg, bring it inside. Be up on the fingers or come down on the palms. Or you can come on the form. So I'm going to grab my blocks. So you can do this on the ground or on blocks, on hands or on forms. So for me, forearms on the blocks feel good, but you choose what works for you. And then either straight spine or bow the head. And try to breathe right into the back hip flexor. So the psoas muscle right across the hip crease of that back leg. And hold. Good job. From where you are, if you chose to be on your forearms, come back up to your hands, whether you're on the ground or the blocks, and come out of the hips a little bit, just enough so you can take that front leg and slide it back to meet the back leg. Widen your knees again, touch your big toes, and sink back to child. If you have the blocks, you can move them away, and just stretch the body back. Forehead towards the earth, arms extend, or palms to prayer. Elbows can bend and fold back to the head. A couple breaths here. Extend the arms. Bring your hands back near the shoulders. Press into your hands to roll up or lengthen up to sit on your heels or find that high heel right away. And then inhale, stand on the shins. Lift the arms, lift up. Exhale, open the arms, touch the low back. Fingers down, elbows back. Lift the heart, elevate the chest, squeeze the backs of the shoulders together, open up. And exhale back to tabletop, all fours. Let's come back to either puppy or dog. So walk the hands either a little further forward for dog or all the way up to puppy. Curl the toes under and lift up if you're coming to dog. If you're in dog, let's take an um, intentional pedal out. So come on the balls of your feet, lift your heels. If you're with me, if you're in puppy, just rest. Exhale, drop the right heel, bend the left knee, look underneath the right arm and hold them. Take a deep breath in. And full breath out. Inhale, lift from the balls of your feet, lift your heels. And exhale, switch and hold. 
Deep breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, lift up all the feet, heels lift. And exhale, heels drop. From here, walk forward to uh, forward fold. Step the feet to the hands as many steps as you want. Or if you were in puppy, just kind of rock back to stand up on your two feet. You're in a forward fold. Shake it, yes. <laughs> Shake it, no. Let the head hang, and then this time, bring the hands up onto the shins, lengthen your spine, find that flat back, Ardha Uttanasana, stretch out long. And exhale, melt over the legs, bend the knees, drop the head, pause here, and slowly, slowly, slowly roll up. One vertebra at a time, head is elastic, float up, inhale, sweep the arms out and up, palms touch. Exhale, right through prayer, eyes close, stand up tall. Take a deep inhale, and exhale, release. Your arms. The last time. Inhale, lift. Sun breath. Interlace your fingers. Release your pointer. Full thing from the top. Stretch up and over to the left. Bump the hip away. Lift the gaze up. Inhale through center. Exhale up and over the other way. Inhale up. Exhale, release the hands. Drop the chin. Interlace the fingers. Press the fist down to squeeze the shoulders together. Open up the front body. Lift that heart and chest. Look up. And then exhale, sit into skier pose. Get low in the hips, lengthen your spine. I'm just going to twist or <laughs> turn this way. Hold here, press the fist down, lengthen from tail to head. Couple breaths. Good. Stay here or come to standing yoga mudra. You can straighten the legs and pour the body over the legs. Drop the head and let the arms move away from your back. Couple breaths. And it doesn't have to be really deep. The arms might still be really close to the back. That's totally fine. Wherever you are, just breathe into that area of sensation. Couple breaths. Good job. Bend the knees, bend the hips. Stretch the fists and arms back. Elevate the chest. Hold here. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, release the hips. Stand up to Dasana. Hold. Swan dive with bent knees, open the arms if you're diving into this pool of water, hold at the bottom, and then lengthen, bring your hands up to your shins, press the head away from the tail, stretch it out. Exhale, melt over bent legs, bend knees, drop the head, and then swan dive up, reverse swan dive, take up this hand, palms touch, look up. Exhale, straight through prayer, close your eyes. Stand up nice and tall, take a deep in breath. And exhale, release your arms. Take a sun breath, lift up. Exhale, stay standing, catch your hips, walk to the top of the mat. Stand more on the right foot, send the left leg back. So like you're going to come into your lunge, you're going to spin the back heel down to your warrior one. And you determine how far away your feet are. In terms of width or hip width distance, in terms of length, you determine that you're trying to bring the front knee above the front ankle, and you're trying to square the hip socket. So plug that front right thigh bone into the hip socket, drop and drive that left hip point forward so you really square the hips, press the hips down, lift the ribs up, and then lift the arms up. And really press out through that back heel. Really lift up through the back of the back knee so that left, that left back leg is very engaged and strong. So you get deep enough. Exhale, release the arms, interlace your fingers, we're going to open our hearts here. Press the fists down, squeeze the shoulders together, lift, lift up, and then hinge with the head. So remember, this could be little, this is a gentle clap, and this is kind of a vigorous, challenging move. So you can stay here, just halfway, you don't have to go further. If you want to go deeper, from right inside that front knee, hands pinned at the low back, or arm bones float away. If it's too much, hold your hips. Look at the ground or even look at your back heel or back foot. Hold, straight back leg, bent front leg, and breathe. You're doing awesome. Good, keep the bend in the front knee. Lift the arms up, press down into your feet to keep your balance, release the hands, lift them up above the head, like Tadasana, mountain pose, and then straight in the front knee. 
going to open up to warrior two. So open the arms. There's some shifting and wiggling in the feet. So you can get that front heel lined up with arch of back foot. Bend the front knee. Shift the gaze forward. Take a deep inhale. And full exhale. Reverse triangle, straighten the legs, dance it back, lift the waist, the ribs, look up. And exhale, warrior two. So building strength and stability in the legs. And then inhale, stretching the waist, stretching the ribs, stretching the armpit, making space. Exhale, release, bend the front knee. Last time, inhale up, nice big stretch. And exhale, warrior two. Hold that. Take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, dance back, back hand to back leg, top arm lift, look up. Good, inhale, open the arms to T, straighten the legs. Turn the toes forward, the heels back. One more time, let's bring the heels and the toes out. So shorten up your stance a little bit, heels and toes out. Lift the arms up to the edges of the room, and then sit into goddess. Little rock, just to get into the hips, and then hold. Like we did before, um, actually different than we did before, let's take our left hand, press it across the chest, lift the right arm above the ear, almost like a side angle. Come back for goddess, hold, and then do the other side. Press the other arm across the chest, lift the opposite arm. Come back for goddess. Do that one more time. So we're kind of freeing up our upper body. We're building some strength in the low body and opening the hips. One more time, press it through, you're doing great. And release back to goddess. Take a deep inhale. Full exhale, go a little deeper, you're doing awesome. And then stretch up high and tall. Open the arms to T. Turn the toes forward, the heels back. Widen your stance so the wrists are right above the ankles. And then set back up for warrior two. Spin the original front foot forward, right foot, then the front knee. Warrior two. Look out over front fingers, deep breath. And exhale, part we lift down. One arm, the other arm. Pull up the back heel off the ground. And lower the back knee. So now we're getting ready for our lizard pose. Front foot. Wiggle it out to the right a little bit, out to the side of the mat. Bring the right hand inside that foot. Hold here, that's option one. If you wanted to go deeper, you could drop onto the hands, or you could drop onto the forearms. And again, you can do this on the blocks or the ground. I'm gonna stay out on my hands here because without the blocks, it feels too far to go onto my forearms. And we want this to feel good. So close the eyes, maybe bow the head. Notice if the right knee is flopping open. You kind of want to draw that towards your midline. So there's like a magnet on the outer right arm and the inner right knee. Kind of keep those pieces pulling towards each other, not letting that knee flop open and be lazy. So you're going to hold to your strong legs, strong arms, breathing. Really open through the hips, stretching that flexor and psoas. Breathing into any area of congestion or tightness or tension. Kind of use this practice to dissipate that, create more ease, more space in the body, more room for our energy to flow and breath to flow. Good. If you're on your forearms, come up onto your hands, back out of the hips a little bit, swing the front leg back to meet the back leg. Big toes touch, knees wide. Stay back again into a wide knee child. Dip the hips, extend the arms, land on the forehead. Arms stay extended or palms to prayer, elbows bend, and forearms fall back to head. You breath in. Good. Extend the arms, slide the hands back near the shoulders, press the hands, roll up to the heels, squeeze the knees together, hip width, stand on your shins, inhale up, and exhale, touch your low back, drop your chin. One last time, elevate the heart, pop it up, lift the chest, lift the collarbones, open up, and exhale, release it back down to tabletop. Walk the hands forward a little bit and come to melt right out to the belly. So go ahead and bend the elbows. Make a pull over the head. Turn around to the right side of the face 
and bring the left knee out to half frog. Knee comes out hip width, or hip height rather. Shin is parallel to the side edge of the mat, or calf is parallel to the side edge of the mat. And then close your eyes. Notice the rhythm of your breath. Notice the rhythm of your heart. Tune into how your body feels right now. Let's take a moment to surrender and find peace and stillness. Bring your hands underneath the shoulders. Roll up to sit on the heels. If that's not comfortable, come to seated. We're going to stay here for a couple moments. Turn the palms open, backs again, touch the back spine long, eyes closed, seated on your heels or in a cross legged position or anywhere else you feel comfortable. Take a moment to tune back in. Take a moment to drop right into that space of clarity and peace, of consciousness and awareness. Of abundance and vitality. The sacred space within you where you're most aligned in your body, your mind, your heart, your spirit. Most in touch, most in tune. Able to access that highest version of yourself. That loving, compassionate heart. Confidence, strength, peace, and love. Come to your three-part breath, breathe into the lowest part of the belly, the middle section of the ribs, the upper portion of the heart. Exhale, release the chest, relax the ribs, relax the belly. Continue that. Take a moment to remember your intention. How do you want to feel today? How do you want to show up for yourself, for others? What's important to you right now? Take 
Take a deep breath in. Full breath out, just drop the chin towards your chest, all the breath out and pause. Come to a natural breath in and out when you're ready. And let the hands just slide off the lap, bring the hips off to the side, swing the legs around to the front, and then we're gonna scooch up and get ready to lie on our back. So bring your hips forward. We'll do just a little bit of work on the ground before we come to rest in Shavasana. So anything you need for Shavasana, any props, extra layers, anything you want, have it nearby, lift the arms up. And exhale, lower, tuck the tail, scoop the belly, use the strength of your core or the help of the hands on the legs to come all the way to the back. Good. And then when you get down, just take a big stretch out, send the legs forward, send the arms behind, lengthen your waist, your fingers, and your toes. Gather the knees up into the body, hold the knees or the shins, or wrap the arms around the legs, and take your rock. Bring hands to tops of knees and circle knees one way. And circle knees the other way. And then let the feet come down to the ground, knees up to the ceiling, open the arms to T. We're going to take just a familiar closing sequence. So cross the right ankle over the left knee. So coming into that figure four. Nice hip opener in place to decompress the spine. You can stay here or kick the uh, left foot up and hold either the back of the left thigh or the front of the shin. And then lengthen your spine. So notice that the chin is up lifting high. You want to slide the chin down, slide the back of the head long. Hold there. If you wanted more, you can extend the left leg to the ceiling. That feels good. Up to you. Take a couple breaths. Just to rest and relax. Take another deep breath in. As you exhale, place the left foot to the ground, open the arms to T, cross the legs closer so the inner thighs are touching, then preparing for your twist, press into the left foot. Scooch the hips to the right, so you're more on the left hip, and then let the knees fall over the left, and turn your head over to the right. Close your eyes, or soften your gaze. Arms can stay at T, or you can even bring the left hand to support the outer edge of the right leg. If it's too much to have the legs crossed, unwind them and stack them. Take a few breaths. Bring the knees to your center. Press into the bottom foot. Shift the hips back in line with the um, shoulders. Unwind the legs. Cross the left ankle over the right knee to figure four. Stay there or pick the right foot up. Pull the back of the thigh or the front of the shin. Lengthen the neck and hold here a couple breaths. Another deep inhale. Exhale, release the foot down. Open the arms to T. Cross the legs closer. Inner thighs touch. Press in the bottom foot. Scooch the hips to the left. So you're more on the right hip. Let the knees go to the right. Turn the head to the left. You can always unwind the legs and stack them if you'd like. If you want to move the arm position, you can place the right hand at the outer edge of the left leg. And take a few breaths there.
Turn the head through center. Release the leg if you're touching the leg. Bring the knees back through center. Press to the bottom foot. Shift the hips back. Unwind the legs. Maybe widen your feet for a moment and take a couple windshield wipers side to side. Loosen up any last bit of tension in the hips or in the knees or in the back. Just like you're very seated in the beginning of class. And then bring the knees up through center. Feel free to move or not move in any way you like as you prepare to come into Shavasana. So any final poses or postures, you can take them. If you're ready to rest, just let the legs come along. Let the arms come alongside your body slightly away and the palms open and the back stay against the ground. Feet can flop open. Legs slightly greater than your one distance apart. Eyes are closed. Take a couple letting go breaths here. Breathe in through the nose. Exhale through your mouth. And just one more time. Take in as big of a breath as you can. Breathe all the breath in. Fill up even more when you think you're done. Sift the breath in. Suspend at the top of the breath. Hover there. And exhale through your mouth. All the breath out. Let it all fall out of the lips. No breath left. Right, good breath in. Regular breath out. Start to let the breath soften. Begin to let your body relax. Let yourself feel supported and held by the earth. Cared for and supported. Let the weight of the body surrender. Feel your breath soften even more and the mind start to settle. As you slip into this place of great peace. As you allow the blessings of your practice to integrate deeply into your body, your mind, and your heart. Staying here for just a couple moments in stillness and silence. I'll call you out when the time is right, but just taking some time to be still and receive. Welcome to stay in Shavasana as long as you'd like this morning, as long as your time allows. When you are ready to come out, just feel the breath deepen. Start to notice the outer edge of the body, maybe invite movement into those edges of fingers or toes. With eyes closed and body relaxed, come on to either side. Come to a fetal pose. Bring the knees into the belly. Bring the arms into the chest. Take a moment to rest. And then pressing the ground away, come on up to seated. Eyes could be closed or a soft gaze. We'll just be here for a moment together. Let the backs, the hands touch the knees of the lap, sit up nice and tall. Closed eyes or soft gaze, come back home to your breath, take a deep inhale. And full exhale. And your next in breath, bring the hands together to prayer position, Anjali Mudra, like a palms touch. As you exhale, bow your head to yourself, back to any intention you created. 
We'll end together on the sound of OM, the sound of community, starting with a letting go breath. Take a deep inhale. And exhale, a sigh. We'll begin. Deep breath in. Um. As your head bows back to yourself, taking one last moment to honor the divinity and the light that shine within you. Namaste. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. I'm so glad to get to practice with you today on this brand new day, this brand new week. So I wish you a beautiful Monday and a great week ahead. I can't wait to see you guys again real soon. Um, thanks again for being here. Feel free to drop any comments or suggestions or feedback below. Thank you, Helen. It was great to have you here. Um, thank you to everybody that filled out our survey. I surveyed you guys last week for my specific classes. So those of you that replied, thank you for helping me create a plan that I'm still working on for the summer. I did just email out a studio-wide survey as well with some additional questions that would be helpful as we formulate our plan. So feel free to check your email and reply to that. If you have a moment, we'd really appreciate it. We've also we'll post it again to our Facebook page today. So um, I'm so glad to see you guys. Guys, thanks so so much. Enjoy this beautiful weather and we'll see you real soon. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Robbie. Thanks, Sarah, Joanne. Great to see you guys. Um, sending lots of love and peace your way today and always. So have a great day. Mwah. Hugs to you. And we'll talk again real soon. I'll see you Wednesday morning at 9 for Gentle Moderate Flow and Tuesday at 6:30 for um, Zumba. So thanks. Thanks, Cindy. Thanks, Matt. Take care, you guys. <laughs>